In today's super reasonable political climate, you'd be forgiven for thinking the only way to effect change would be to re-traumatise yourself in an elevator. But the midterms are coming, which means you get to vote and be totally fucked by a map. State houses have been redrawing districts to their advantage for years, artificially helping to keep their party in power. Gerrymandering. 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 <laughs> yes, gerrymandering. It results in districts that look like this, this, and this one that's giving the finger to black people in Detroit. When you look at gerrymandering maps with their like odd little borders, it's hard not to like think back at the redlining maps that divided people by um, race. They are diluting the power of the votes of the citizens. Is gerrymandering a type of retrospective segregation? I think it is. I think it is segregation upon segregation. Or as Jeff Sessions calls it, the perfect country club. Since the GOP took over the House and Senate in 2010, they've red wedding the voting map, crafting one insanely shaped district after another, allowing politicians to take your vote as seriously as a woman with a credible sexual assault charge. Ugh, that shit still makes me so angry! Gerrymandering is bad, but it's not like it's life or death. Gerrymandering in Michigan connects to the Flint water crisis because... Oh, for fuck's sake! because the Republican leaders simply don't see any reason <laughs> to be responsive to the community where they've shuffled all the other party's voters. Which only matters if you're someone who drinks water. Flint's tap water was laced with dangerous levels of lead. The state knew about it and did nothing. 1,600 days since we've had access to clean, suitable drinking water. I think one of the things that's most haunting about what happened in Flint is that everyone knows that what happened there would not have happened in a community like Ann Arbor or Grand Rapids that is both wealthier and whiter. I mean, Ann Arbor sounds just like an actual white woman. I think I know her, <laughs> and I think I know how she votes. In the 2014 state senate election, only 50.4% of Michigan voted Republican, yet the GOP got 71.1% of the seats. And that's weird because 50 and 70 are different numbers. Can someone save Michigan? I love black people! No, no, someone else. Enter Katie Fahey, who founded Voters Not Politicians, an anti-gerrymandering organization in Michigan. As impressive millennials, we began with the traditional avocado toast and crystal exchange. Knowing that we actually had a form of direct democracy here in Michigan, the ballot initiative process, I was like, why don't we use this thing? So I quit my job to try and amend the state constitution and end gerrymandering full time. Oh my God, yeah. I totally know what it's like to make a difference because I talk on TV sometimes. Her group gathered over 400,000 signatures for their ballot initiative, Proposition 2. Proposition 2 will make it so that voters will draw these district lines and not politicians. We'll have four Democrats, four Republicans, and then five independent or third party voters. And now she's spreading the word about Prop 2 using her youthful energy and governments trying to restrict your districts, misrepresenting your interests for interest. By Just smile, Amy. It'll be over soon. The biggest thing we're doing is making gerrymandering illegal. What do you think Michigan would look like without gerrymandering? I think it would look like what we were hoping America could be, where your vote should actually matter and your politician should listen to you and just want to kind of kick it old school. Oh no, don't do it. Sign this petition and I'll stop being repetitive. Yeah, okay, maybe it's because I'm even whiter than Katie, but this is right. actually growing on me. And so are these people, who are more than happy to take up the cause in the nerdiest ways possible. Huh, I never thought I'd say that I miss white rapping. Can Michigan slay the gerrymander? They need to vote. You hear that, Michigan? Flip over your ballot, look down at the bottom and vote yes on two. Unless you like poison water, your choice. And we all need to flip over our ballots. We might just end up voting to unfuck ourselves. <laughs>